The best way to start uh, yeah. that you just okay. tell okay. us what the book is about. Right. To, to describe what this book is about, I do have to start with The Birth of Venus, because um, when I started nine years ago to think about writing books set in Renaissance Italy, I had no idea that I would write three of them. I just was looking for the subject for another book. Um, and it might be helpful to tell you a little bit what happened then, because all roads did finally lead to this convent, which the Sacred Hearts is set in, which is that I am... Um, I spent about four weeks in the city of Florence, which any of you who know it will know to be an extraordinarily powerful and atmospheric city. And as a result of being in it, I became really intoxicated by a single idea, which was everybody knows that there was a remarkable moment in Western history called the Renaissance. Everybody knows it changed the goalposts of what Western culture was artistically, religiously, in terms of the rebirth of classical learning, in all kinds of ways, it was a revolutionary moment. And then, uh, after I'd been there for two or three weeks, my daughters came out to spend some time with me. They had been on holiday with their father and they came to visit me. And they were, at the time, 10 years old and 13 years old. And they arrived and I thought, oh, how great, because I now know everything about the Renaissance. So I'm going to teach them everything about the Renaissance. And the first morning I took them out and I said, so we're going out to the streets and we're going to look at museums and art galleries and churches. And I'm going to tell you about this incredible moment in Western history when the whole world changed. And my 13 year old, who was already kind of attitude on a stick, <laughs> turned to me and said, I think you should know, Mum, that at this moment in my life, I don't do culture. I just do shopping. <laughs> and my 10-year-old, whose role it was not to be the 13-year-old, said, Oh, that sounds great, Mum. I'll come with you. And as I was walking through the city with them, with these two very feisty, powerful, spirited, smart, obstreperous young women at my side, I suddenly thought, what is the one thing that's been missing from all of the history that I have been reading about the Renaissance? It's women, right? All of the names that I was about to show them as we walked through the city of Florence were male names. Writers, artists, architects, religious thinkers, political thinkers, you name it, the Renaissance from the history books looks male. And I started to think, so hello, what was it like for the other half of the population in the world then? Was there a renaissance for women? And it was as a result of that day and my two daughters that the idea for the birth of Venus came for me, which is that a young woman growing up in this renaissance city, in this exploding cultural revolution, very well educated, is born with the talent to draw as many people are, right? They don't necessarily become artists, but was born with the talent to draw and the passion and the intelligence to try and want to get her hands on the walls and paint. And that became the story of The Birth of Venus. And once I had written that book, I knew that I had something, I had a kind of almost a campaign in my mind, which was to try and explore what it would have been like to be a woman during this time. It didn't mean I wasn't writing about men, of course I was writing about men, but it was about how women fitted in through the cracks of history. And I knew I had to go into a convent because here is the most astonishing fact about the Renaissance, not just through Italy, but throughout much of Europe, which is that most noble women, when they reached the age of 13 or 14, i.e. when they became potentially sexually active, had no choice as to what their future was. They would either be married off, i.e. that sexuality, <coughs> that threat of sexuality would be contained by being in a marriage, or they would be put into a convent. So the book is about what it was like to live in a convent during those times, and it begins with an image which was always with me, which was the image of a quiet cloister at night interrupted by the sound of someone screaming. 
Mm. And it's a young girl who at the age of 15 has been put in the convent against her will and is not going to stay. Mm. 